So since a lot of um, our content thus far has been about external circumstances and the things that are happening outside of you during crisis, um, we're going to start to focus inward um, simply because it's really important to know yourself in a crisis and to determine um, strategies so that you can better handle yourself in these situations. So before we really look into your specific reactions to crisis, let's look at humans in general. So there are two kind of main reactions, typical reactions to crisis. The first is the anxious or nervous response, um, and that's typically characterized by running away from the situation. The second is to get really angry or upset, um, and that is to kind of combat the situation head on um, with fighting. The third is just a combination of the two. All three of these responses are extremely typical and they're actually natural reactions uh, that occur from our brains. So when we face a reaction to a crisis, it's really easy to sit back and judge ourselves for our response. The reactions that we have in times of crisis are natural reactions to a heightened situation. They actually come from the amygdala, which is also known as the lizard brain. And this is actually the oldest part of our brain. On the most basic level, our instincts for survival are very strong, and therefore our emotional response to these situations are equally strong. So because our reactions to crisis are inherently within us, managing a crisis is not necessarily about blocking those feelings out. Instead, it's actually about accepting and acknowledging that these responses exist and rising above them to make good choices in these times. So in terms of managing your reactions to these crisis situations, awareness is the first major step. It's crucial that instead of just reacting to the situation, you're really taking time to know what you're feeling and be cognizant of what's going on inside. Try starting by making sure that your outward self is exhibiting calm behavior, even if your insides are all over the place. By doing this, you can take some time to seek inner calmness while not escalating the situation Additionally, make sure that you're reminding yourself that this is about the child in crisis. This is not about you. And hopefully that puts things into a bit of perspective. After you've taken the time to develop awareness, there are some strategies that you can implement for remaining calm throughout this situation. The first of those strategies is just to breathe. Um, one helpful suggestion that I have is to internally in my head count those breaths in order to regulate. Another strategy that could be useful is to concentrate on a very specific part of your body, such as your right elbow or your left pinky toe um, or your third middle finger. Focusing on a specific sensation might help remove um, and calm yourself from, from the situation. The third strategy is to simply just change the dialogue that's occurring in your head um, and adjust it to account for exactly what's happening in the situation around you. And in the cases where you just simply cannot calm yourself down um, and you feel overwhelmed, it's perfectly acceptable to call for backup from another staff member or your director.